Hey there. Good afternoon to you. I hope uh, your week is going well. Uh, in fact, let me double check this camera here. Quickly getting set up and didn't even check those settings. That's a little better, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, happy Good Friday to those of you that are in uh, the Americas or those worldwide that also recognize that. I hope it's a good week. I hope uh, that uh, you're also getting a day off, a chance to goof around and play around and enjoy life too. But uh, as you saw, uh, and I apologize for those of you watching on the YouTube stream, I goofed up and it may be even on the Twitch stream. I changed the stream information and forgot to hit click the done. So I think it still says medieval solo but what we are going to actually be doing today is joining the hermitcraft 9 map 
and uh, and going through and exploring and playing and um, just seeing what all that is with using the Kingdoms of Wallace RTX packs. As always, if you're interested in having uh, these packs, you can go to uh, my Patreon, download those. We've got a big update coming. Um, new packs with new pieces inside of it in the very very near future i know i've been talking about it for weeks but uh, just about to have that uh, released and out there so look for that um, there'll be some new versions with some updated textures some new entities as well as some of the 121 blocks in there for those of you that are already doing the previews and or experimental worlds where you can play with it but anyway so uh the goal today is to do some exploring. All I've done is download the map. I haven't really done much with it. I'm gonna double check my packs real quick. All of that looks good. I don't think we need anything else on. So we should be fine. It says version 14 on my pack there, but it's actually 15 because I've got a lot of the new things that'll be in there once we make the new release. But uh, you'll see here, I downloaded it. I did set it to creative at the moment. Old Canadian gamer. Wow. Welcome, welcome. My goodness. It's going well, my friend. Uh, thanks for dropping by and uh, spending some time. It has been a while. Agreed. I hope, hope the world's treating you well. And uh, a lot has changed since we've last talked uh, in the world and in Minecraft and all this wonderful thing. So I hope things are going well out your way. So I didn't get to watch much of the Hermitcraft 9. Uh, obviously, I, I do enjoy uh, seeing that. I just didn't get to watch a ton of the different episodes. Um, so some of this will be new to me. Obviously, just prerequisite. Everyone should know that uh, when you convert a Java world over to Bedrock, oh, this is cool. This is really cool, actually. Um, let's see here. Did I come in in creative? Okay, so um, I'm in normal mode coming in here. I did create it as a creative world in case we needed to fly around, we could. Then I can just change my... Uh, in fact, what I think we'll do so I don't destroy Let's just go ahead and put us in creative and make sure but we'll yeah we'll run around like we're in in survival that way we can explore the world without damaging it um but yeah when when they convert uh java worlds over to uh bedrock there will be certain things that won't work properly and things like that so if you did watch the series with hermitcraft with all the hermits there's going to be certain things that we won't be able to activate or do but i thought it'd be really cool to see a lot of their builds and a lot of their things with my pack for those of you that will ask uh the reason there's waving water and the different sunlight angles and effects and things i am using the experimental version of better rtx uh that would be an extra uh, deal that you want to add but otherwise it's using my my texture packs from the kingdoms of wallace uh, and uh, version 15 so there's some updated textures and some new things in there too uh, to be released here in the coming week so uh old canadian gamers is not bad at all I haven't been playing much with minecraft or games actually oh wow so nothing at all um since we're starting here i don't want to start at night time so let's do this there we go okay so let's let's check this out and see as we go here welcome to hermitcraft season nine here are some things that might help you on your adventure this is a con conversion from java to bedrock not 100 percent yeah so that's exactly what i was just telling you guys oh this is fun so we'll put all this on in case we end up needing it uh, using it, uh, even though we're in creative. Still would look cool. There we go. By the way, um, this is a new thing that uh, I've just started adding, which is going to be some of the armors. I've got 
I've got a diamond and gold in there right now. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. I'm not good at this third person stuff. But anyway, it doesn't work very well with the armor trims, but if you want to be able to use it to decorate some of your halls or things like that and not put armor trims on it, this will be a nice new addition that you can see. And then of course all your mobs when they're wearing the armor will have this too. So that, that'll be in the new pack for I've got diamond and gold. We'll be working on the others here soon. But let's see here. So there's a guide to Cubs coordinates and builds. Uh, Ender chest, armor tools, and cords. Important info here. And then some starting locations here. Okay, so let's see here. Welcome to Hermitcraft Season 9. Let's see here continue reading shortly. Let me put my phone on the proper channel here so I can make sure that I am seeing what is going on there as well. Okay, so here at Mojang we are big fans of the Hermits, so we help them to convert this map to bedrock and provide it free on the marketplace. Now everyone on every platform and experience their amazing creativity. There are some shulker boxes around that have useful gear to help you explore. You will find much more in the world around you. To learn more, please visit hermitcraft.com and the fandom. Nice. Before you start, here are some helpful tips. This conversion is not 100%. There are bugs and not all redstone works. Some areas are not spawn proofed. A lot of the custom resources like player heads won't be here. We're sorry. Nether portals work for the most part, but there are some small issues. Some portals might exit with a slight offset that might require you to break a block or two. A couple of the portals might exit onto the nether roof with no way back. Oops. <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun. Some of the simpler redstone works, but a lot of it doesn't. Maybe you can get it to work. I'd love to know if you do. We would love your feedback. Did you find bugs? What future content would you like from the hermits? Extend the feedback there. Lovely. Okay, so some starting locations. There's a network of nether portals that uh, connect everything together. They are all connected through another hub. You can enter it from any of the portals listed here. There are more books with more locations inside. Okay, so I think we'll take that book with us. Wait, can you s Yeah, we can. Good. So we'll take that one with us. Let's see here. Cub fan. Greetings and welcome to the Hermitcraft Season 9 world. Within this book, you will find coordinates to builds and shops. Hope you enjoy exploring as much as I enjoyed creating within it. Yeah, he never does much, does he? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's always fun to see. So we'll take that one with us. Okay, so that goes, obviously, with some of those assuming the games and all that kind of fun stuff. We've got the specialty armors. That's cool that he left all that in here for everybody to see. Very much fun. So this must have been everything that was left at the end. Very, very, very cool. Okay, so we'll take those books with us. I wanted to kind of just explore at the first here. I think what we'll do is I'm gonna take this bit. Oh, we're in creative. That was an oops. So let's see here. Give that S. Bed. Let's do that. We'll take that with us so that we can quickly sleep, even though we're in creative. And flip the time if we want to, to stay more just in moving. Lovely octopus here. <laughs> Let's go check it out. 
on one of the streams. There's an underground area there too. Okay, this one we do need to see from the air, so let's just fly a little bit here. Such great work. I love seeing builders when they're at their peak and doing things the right way. What a great idea. So using netherrack sandstone for the end parts of the tentacles and then blackstone lovely <laughs> i see you i love that so it's it's captured a, a diver how cool is that Genius. It's got the looking portal on this end. It's really good design there. And as you can see, they used... It's a neat way to use stairs on the edge. I wonder if you can get inside this or not. Let's see. So it looks like it's just a external build. Still very, very cool. Okay, so as you can see, we probably won't get through all of them on one stream. We're going to need to uh, spend some time exploring and just checking stuff out without a doubt. Just curious what this was before we go do the underground stuff there. was here outside of just a cool decoration area. Let's see how to get into and around inside the underwater portion of this here. Really good block pallets. Ah, stairs. So let's check out the upper spot here first. Wait, because it's getting dark and I bet this will look pretty cool lit up. Yep. There we go. I love this grass path against polished deep slate. thought into this design and creations. Agreed. 
I always marvel at people that are able to just have this kind of vision and this kind of thinking. So let's drop in. Let's see how this looks down here. Nice farming area. Nice collection systems. If you notice, we've got uh, andesite next to the polished deep slate. That is just a really clean... I'm going to have to borrow that, that design. It's a clean look. Yep, so had some basic furnace work being done here. So we can see a little bit better because I think the sun will come through here. Yeah, it does. Thought we were close enough to the surface. I just wanted to see, wanted to do this justice for the build. This is an up and down elevator. Check it in a minute and see. And of course, this should have been all the collections, I'm assuming. Or is it just miscellaneous storage? It's a pretty neat idea in, in the layout of this. So we've got doubles, regulars. Hmm. Very cool build idea. Of course, an enchantment set up over here. Try not to move too terribly fast for you guys. For those of you that end up watching live, if there's certain things that you want me to circle back and check out, just speak up in the chat. Can't tell. Okay, so that doesn't go anywhere. It has a trap door, so I bet it does. Let's see. Oh, it's just a way to come in and out of this section of the underwater. Very cool. Looks so good, doesn't it? Because they were using colored glass, we're getting these nice shafts of light here. fun. Okay, so I guess someone must have just based right here. Pretty cool idea. Let me switch back to regular fly mode. I'll just run around for a bit. Looks like they did a Stair stepping, move quickly across the. Whoops, I'm in creative, so I'll just clue over it here like this. It's a neat way to do that, though. Wonderful color palette there, isn't it? So 
this job or bedrock or are you just playing creative not survival uh this is bedrock um they just released the map this week bedrock and i put it in creative just for this reason because i wanted to do more cinematic shots as we explore Really good color palette use. So we'll run around like we're in survival for a minute. So as you guys know, this is our this is tough. Um, in the new update, we've got the new tough blocks. Those will be coming in version 15. use of all of the blocks. I like this idea of having a tough stone wall barrier. That is just really cool. Is there a lot of change from V13 to 15? Currently running V13. Um, when I have the release this next week, you can look at the release notes and see. Um, I think there is I can't remember V13, was it still in the old graphics design that still had some glitching and some stuff like that? Um, because I've overhauled the whole pack to function much more efficiently in the new uh, programming of what Minecraft uh, changed. Plus I've done a lot of individual texture updates, uh, normals updates so that they perform better as well as there will be a lot of entities that were not in back then. So I'd have to look at the notes, I apologize. Like for instance, you'll see here, uh, there's an improved uh, spruce log coming into this new update. There's an improved oak log coming into this update. It's minor details, but you can look at how much more realistic that is but I'll have a full change log. Guess it's time for me to get Patreon again. <laughs> Lovely little kitchenette here. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if V13 was still pre the where we still had uh, texture glitching and all of that. Well, I've, it took me a while to figure out how to uh, work the programming the way Mojang once it worked, not the way Java used to be, where you had all kinds of unlimited activity and everything. In here, you're pretty limited. So I think it, it still had that. By 14, I know I had it figured out. Um, and by 15, I've just been enhancing, trying to uh finish the whole pack um tons and 15 for java or bedrock for bedrock um i haven't spent much time on java in, in months uh, bedrock's been my claim to fame i started into java when bedrock was all jacked up so at some point i will probably try to improve the java version of the packs but they're in their very early stages Just love this smooth sandstone in here against these woods. It just has a lovely, lovely feel, doesn't it? And it looks like this was another base location. All these extra supplies. Yeah, so if you're on uh, the Bedrock version of the game, you can go to the marketplace and download this map for yourself. Let's see what this was here. Trying with the controller to not just go racing through stuff for you. Make you sick. It's 
a seriously tall tower, isn't it? <laughs> a tower with a bed and a little lookout. There's a cool thing up in the sky over there. Okay. Yeah, this may be a couple of streams to get this world explored. Oh good, glad to clear you are back on bedrock as your main focus. Yeah, that that's that's what I'm known for. That's where I play most of all of my time. I wish we had a little bit more freedoms, but they're working on it. Over time they're Free sample from Impulse. Okay, so this must have been uh, his build. Guess maybe this was a, a store progress, just not totally finished. So, yeah, well, that's how I found you and spread the word about your awesome shaders. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, speaking of shaders. I will be, we'll actually do a real sleep this time. Um, I will be working on the deferred version of the game here soon, um, but I don't know how soon because uh, RTX is, and the regular packs are where I've uh, still been finishing out a lot of these packs and getting the way that they look and the way they perform down. But we also know that deferred isn't is still in development, so I didn't want to do too much with it till I'm sure what their coding is going to finalize on. But at some point, I will do the deferred versions of my packs so that you guys that don't have RTX can use that as well, not just the HD packs. So what is this? or down? I guess it's both. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it and see. When is... Okay, I'm going to wait to answer that until the ad break is done. In fact, we're going to chill here for just a minute, those of you that are subscribers, um, while the ad break is running. seven seconds there and we'll continue to showcase this room and build Here, I'm assuming over on YouTube it doesn't show show the ad, so uh, please bear with me. We're waiting for our our Twitch supporters, and there they are. They are back. So, um, gamer, you had asked when is the expectation of the release of version 15? I'm hoping by the end of next week. I've been doing some final testing this week with it, and uh, just making sure. Obviously, I'm using it right now, um, so you can see we're not seeing any anything tearing or glitching or problems like that. So I'm I'm thinking I should be in good shape to be able to get that out to you all. But what we did is we came up that little water spout that's in the center of this room to get up here and to be able to see this build. There's where we were. 
found a little flag on the top. Looks like there's a little something right there we may need to go check out. Okay, so we're going to fly for a moment. Oops, almost fell. I hit the button too fast. Let's look here. So it's a ski gondola. How cool is that? Yeah, I knew the ads were coming through. By the way, um, I've had those ads running at a at the minute and a half run when they run instead of broken up into multiples of 30 seconds. Do you guys like that? Um, would you prefer to just have miscellaneous 30 second runs or, or does that work out nicely? Oh my goodness, this builds back here are insane, aren't they? We're going to have to walk through all of this, too. Wow. Very impressive. Very awesome work. Yeah, agreed. So when was the plan for release of B-15? Uh, by the end of next week, um, barring anything going wonky that I find so far, I don't have any reason to believe that that's delayed. By the way, if you'll notice, keep an eye on your Discord then. Yeah, of course, I'll place an announcement. Um, the higher we got up in here into the mountain area, did you notice how the fogs give this nice icy look and everything? Inside my RTX pack, uh, and all you need is just the base pack, the thick fog uh, is a preference thing, but this is just with the base pack. Uh, you get this nice biome color change fog, so now we have this nice icy feel up here, even in the air. I don't know if you're like me, but I enjoy a lot of these cinematic style shots like this. Look at it, it goes all the way down with roads down there and everything. Okay, so I've got to up my building game. I've always thought I'd do pretty well, but this is on another level. Okay, so we saw this rail here. This must activate from down below, I'm assuming. Let's just try it ourselves from up here. I'm just gonna keep this here. I'm gonna get in it. So at least this still works on the conversion from Java to Bedrock. Impressive build. See how the air even got warmer once we got down here? So that's what I was talking about, how we've got fogs for different 
zones of the uh, world out here so that it changes your experience for you. It's a lovely area in and of itself. Look at all the detail and time and placing of blocks. Remember, this world was done completely in survival. started. Obviously this would be a elytra launching pad here. Okay, so let's go back up the mountain. So love this idea. Isn't it cool having fogs that change like that so intensely too? So that now it actually, the air feels cold to you. So in survival, what would you do? Ah, there it is. There's a ladder right there. Okay. So let's see here. What did they do here? Rule book. Oh, elytra course. I thought I saw those rings. That's fun. So if you download this, you could actually run through the course yourself. Play around and see what's going on. What they put here. So Grian was first, Impulse, and Rendog was third. Wow. I would be like a distant hundredth. <laughs> I slam into things when I'm on my Elytra. I'm not that, uh, that disciplined. I thought while it's going dark, I'd let you see some of the lighting effects in the game. Ooh, this looks lovely in the night, so let's fly around just a little bit. keep seeing things pop in let me see what the settings were for render distance here didn't even think about that from creating the world loading in we're at eight chunks i thought so we need to be at 20. we should be seeing a lot more of this i wondered why we were having that i wasn't even thinking there we go we're getting much better visuals It's just magical, isn't it? Still is amazing that we get the privilege of being able to build stuff like this and just enjoy it and share it to the world. Again, really good block palette choices. By the way, this extra glowing in the roof here that's an update that comes out with version 15. So the nether woods, we've added emissivity to it as well. Since it's a, from the other world, it might as well have it in daylight. You'll barely see it, but at nighttime, it adds a new effect to your blocks.
Okay, so let's come over here and sleep and work our way down and see what we can find through this snow village of sorts here. flying around. What is this that we keep stepping on? So it's opening a trap door that you would drop through, I guess. That one's just for light. Okay, so here was the leaderboard. So there's a water column to get up to here. Here, water. Oh, it's this. It's just this water flow right there. Okay. So I'm guessing the only way down is right here. Yep. So this is the room that we were in. So there's nothing there. I wonder if it's just... I'm just trying to do this the way that they had it built. So this is how you would get ready to go do the... Okay. Leave your gear and then go... Oh, someone left shulkers. Okay. Well, I guess you'd go up this way, take your elytra and fly through the course. I was wondering how you get up to this spot. Was it just because that's an up elevator? Guess that's the only way. Because you then just fly out from up here. To launch off here, and then go through the course. Too much fun. Okay. So let's see this lower level here. So a neat idea just for extra levels and probably to keep snow off of it to use trap doors as bonus in the walkways very nice so yeah here's that little up elevator that we saw oh that's a new addition too we now have spiders uh, textures. So I have a sp regular spider and cave spider in the game now. To just help your uh, gameplay. Okay, I was hoping you would turn around. Okay, so let's go keep exploring here. they play in normal game mode so it wouldn't be this dark in normal game mode really great use of a ice biome
such a massive, massive build. Just open rafters to the bottom. open. Hmm. It just dropped down. stay on this level for the moment because it looks like there's a lot to explore. So let's go see. It's really good use of just regular stone. Lovely area right there. the season. I've always enjoyed having trophy rooms. I wish we could do maps more on Bedrock and it didn't screw up the world files. Get up this. There we go. Just couldn't see it. Look at how cool when you're able to do map art. But they just screw up the world files so bad. It's one thing I hope to get resolved. Try to figure out how do we get out of here. There we go. Okay. So the reason some of these areas are super dark is because when they design this world, they play in true vanilla play. So they're not working with the kind of lighting that you're seeing inside the RTX pack. work, color block choices, all of it. Just incredible. So 
So that gets us through all of that area. idea of doing wood planks in the midst of real stone is a really cool look and effect. What is going on right there? Just a lighting glitch? That's weird. Maybe it's something that they did inside their world that messes with the bedrock version of it. Oh, you know what? We're at cloud level. We don't have uh, coordinates on. Yeah, that's clouds passing through. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Guess one of the benefits of building at that level, huh? Wow, okay. Makes it get very real, doesn't it? We did see this out there. I'll go ahead and check it out. We may be missing a few little spots here and there, but I guess that's the fun of being able to explore. Uh, that the timing to get snow that's rather lovely me curious to check and see in a minute. It may just be superficial to look cool. Frosted leaves being up this high.
here and see what this says. Spare wood and boats. So is this an ice boating area? Looks like it is. Don't mind if I do. fast on the ice and make you sick as I go. Pause for just a second as we wait for our uh, Twitch supporters to rejoin us. Thirty seconds or so. there. Here we go. All right, welcome back, Twitch supporters. So we are following this ice boat challenge. It dropped us down deep into the ground, into the mountain. Really cool build. kind of fun down here. That's funny. Nice little challenge thrown at you. Oh, wow. Boat elevator. Very cool. Except it killed our boat, but that's okay. We can still run it. Other obstacles to get through. 
And the reason that you're seeing the ground as wet is because of the better RTX experimental preset that allows for the ground to get wet during rain and snow. This is a crazy amount of work put in to make this. I love seeing snowy leaves. And it looks like it's got the danger snow. Yep. Just get into creative and we'll quit. So we'll pretend like we're in a boat. We'll use creative. So much cool design that happened with this. Drop back down. Did I have? I did keep a boat on me. So now we can boat a little bit. It just hit me. here. Ah, so you could sit here and watch people boating through. Neat idea. forget that you can use stone to make stairs. So I'm assuming this was just under construction. There's the ice. Deal. Here's more of the elytra course. So I'm just going to fly. Looks like there's a makeshift train back here. Okay, now that is an amazing idea. Not just not just a train, working in the little steam engine field. Love it.
So I'm using cobble deep slate stairs for rails. Hi there, Max, over on YouTube. Welcome. We are exploring the Hermitcraft 9 Bedrock download of their server map. Utilizing my texture pack, the Kingdoms of Wallace, RTX. Thanks for joining, Max. Very kind of you, thank you. So very, very cool design here, using copper on the front. Warped wood. I've got to take these off. I keep doing that when I'm in creative here. There we go. Interesting use of the honey block. I like it. And of course, using the dark oak trap doors. Honey block and honeycomb to symbolize stuff in there. And a wood cart. Copper cart. Thank you, thank you. So, can't afford RTX, meaning you can't get the equipment, the computer set up and all that, is that what you're referencing to? If you're talking about my packs, you can, uh, it's ten dollars for the month on Patreon. If you want to continue to support me, you can, but just to download the latest version of the pack, you can always subscribe and do that. But as far as RTX on your computer, I do understand that can get a little pricey, although it is getting better. So keep watching the markets and uh, you know to see what you can run there. Now, if you if you would like, I do also have the HD version of my packs um, for just regular use. And if you're on PC, that one, the downloads go all the way up to 256. You have a PS4. I'm not sure on PS4 if you can... Uh, I know on Xbox you can hijack it to uh, add uh, texture packs inside of Bedrock. If you can on PS4, then you could download my HD version if you like these textures. Obviously, it'll be minus the RTX effects, but it would have the same texture look and feel. And I'll be having a new version coming out by the end of next week. I love having these uh, fire pits right there. kind of adds just a little bit of motion to these train track rails and all of this. So Max, do you play on uh, uh, any servers or anything, or are you a solo type player? I typically am playing on Silent Whisperer's uh, Derptopia. That's where I spend a lot of my time. So 128 times Max on PS4. Okay, so when I release my latest version next week, I'll have a 64, a 128, and a 256 of the uh, HD packs available. So you could check that out if you love what's happening here. I know textures are always subjective to everybody. This here says two falses factory. You know we've got to try that, right?
Some of this may not transfer on the redstone because of the conversion. So we may have to manually drive as we go here. The PS4 is a, is a great machine, there's no doubt. cloud level where they built all of this. How crazy cool is that? But their uh, the redstone didn't transfer over as well. It's funny all those differences. We're getting closer and closer in parity between Java and Bedrock now. So what I am gonna do though because that's a little slow, I'll drop us into creative and pretend like we're on the tracks at a solid speed. And it's a long ways from that area over to his mining factory. Very cool build, though. PC controls. Any me, I forgot controls. Not sure I fully am following you there. So false is base, or oh no, this is the back side of the railway that we were on. Okay. So we would go down and around. Okay, fun. Okay, so let's look at this rail station. Very cool build, huh? Let's get up here so we don't go up and down. Nice use of brick, stone, and spruce wood. With a little bit of granite mixed in and some terracotta. I always love this. It's tough. And it takes some decent amount of work with you're using... Uh, so you have an iron farm, but being able to use anvils for railing on the edge is always a great idea. So let's see what they what he was doing here. So we clearly had some was it gonna be another rail? Is that what was happening, I wonder? Let's come around and see what we can find. Oh my, so we have uh, some sort of a redstone contraption. Great use of blocks in here. Okay, so this was a full-on base, and there's enchanting and probably getting some XP and stuff through here from... What are they doing? I'm terrible at this kind of stuff. Some of y'all are, like, geniuses and can look at this and go, Oh yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. Killer of some sort, picking it up with a mine cart. I just literally built it right off the edge of the mountain. So that looks like a bee, doesn't it? it doesn't go anywhere. Here, if the 
this will help us. Farm director. Okay, so there it is. Okay. Very fun. Nice layout. Look at this flooring using furnaces. Nice idea there. Sugarcane farm back here. Takes you down to the dripstone cave. This idea of just having a little built in little light nook. Excess storage. Way out there. Let's go back across. This one was. That farm was doing its job, wasn't it? Guess the honey's over here. Good solid build here. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, I'm just now getting your your chat there, Max. PS4 controls are easy to use. Don't have to look. Yeah. So when I'm on PC, I actually play um, Xbox controller. So yeah, I'm the same way. I, I love being able to to play that way. Wouldn't that crying obsidian wall look cool? That's how he did his tree farm. Too cool. So we're gonna fly again. I wanted to see what they built way up high here. So it's just using colored glass. And 
in adding lichen to make it light up. Pretty neat idea. It's funny a polar bear's on the roof there. So let's see, we saw most of what was there. We rode that ice highway. It came from over that direction. I don't think we had gotten up this high, had we? Let's see here. Yeah, once again, I wish we could do maps a little bit better on Bedrock. They didn't back up a world so bad. Lovely lookout here. Looks like I'm getting a slight bit of game lag. I'm going to back off that render distance just a little bit. Maybe the conversion. Let's go to 16 and see if that helps with that game lag that we were getting. Didn't get rid of it, but it helped a little. Okay, I'm going to fly again. Okay, so we covered most of this build. So let's come back closer to start and see what we can see. Just in our view distances. There must be some sort of a game that was being played right there. Carrot Hill to check that in a minute. So just for fun. Super wings. Oh, it was a sales shop. Okay. Kind of cool. Let's find us a spot here to set up a bed. Okay, so we'll go over to Carrot Hill. We'll make our way over to these builds. like there was a build in progress. So why is the arrow going down? Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's try it and see. Okay, so what is this one? Oh, it's a game. Player with the highest score recorded by the end of August. Ah, okay. Kind of fun. You have to spot to count them. We'll just go in. Well, this would be substantially harder in RTX, wouldn't it? So, to give you an idea of what my pack would look like without RTX. There you go. 
So if you just use the HD version of the pack, you can see you still get all these cool texture effects and everything. Just minus the RTX effects. Switch RTX back on. There we go. This was a neat idea so that you had to search around and you can see the different bars and count them and then post your score. Really nicely developed area too. Great use of a cave. You see the textures in this. Yep, since it was an ore view, they did an ore arrow. Smart. Very fun. Whoops, I about double bounced. this uh, planter box look and feel here. I'm a big fan when you actually decorate your farms make them feel like they're real. Like it makes all the difference in the world. Just a nice little farm area. Well done. Is this a mining operation? Let's find out. Come on, drop down. There we go. It's an auto system of some sort. sort of machinery work up inside. Let's see if this is it. Just a good wheat farm. Looks like it then drops it down there. Okay. house or was it for real? Fake door to nowhere.
Okay, so this was a to do next. <laughs> Don't trust an idiot. <laughs> Obviously, some of that was being fun for those of us watching the episodes. I feel like there was something else over here. Here it is. It's a cactus farm back there. something down here is it just made to look cool Ooh. is it this actual line area let's find out This may let us drop. Let's find out. Yep. Yep. It's mining. Very nice. So for those of you that are using my RTX pack, just a good reminder, if you're in a place that's too dark, push the semicolon key and turn off RTX. Finish your mining, whatever you're doing nether runs, all of that, and when you're ready, just kick it back on. Sit up here. Upstairs, just a nice little storage area. Down the stairs. Aha, basic farming. Nice. Very nice. A neat idea to use leaves as part of the floor. Adding some texture. Guess this used to be a portal. I guess. Okay, so let's see this area. So we'll come from where we spawned in and head over there. See why we'll need several streams to do this. 
Let's see here, where did we spawn? Not Chia. Supplies for decked out. Oh yeah, the game. The right of shame. Okay, we've got to do this, don't we? Right click mine cart to ride. Let's see here. I think we've got one. Still got one on me. We'll ride back to deck down. Oh, that's okay. Gotcha. So while you're playing the game, then you would go back. Okay. Got it. Said humble boulder abound. It's very humble. Doesn't even have a door to get in. that same we were at. We got suckered into the wrong path. Here we go. Go back this way now. Okay, so here's where I wanted to go. Again, because they build this in just basic vanilla, lighting isn't as critical. like a decent amount is still in progress here. This little farming area for nether stuff. Okay. So, I know that there was a door. Let me turn off RTX for a minute. There it is. 
So in vanilla, this is what you would see without lighting. That's why they were able to build it the way they were. When you're in RTX, you need more lighting because things are closed off from the light and all of that. All right, well, I think that's where we will stop off uh, for this stream, this uh, this time with the Hermitcraft 9, Season 9 map. Obviously, this is going to take multiple, multiple streams in order for us to cover the whole area and do it justice, but hope you've enjoyed this. Um, wish you well on this Easter weekend. Um, celebrate or not, uh, sure hope that things are going well in your life and that you're finding some peace and rest and some value in the everyday things but uh anyway for those of you interested in the packs my patreon is where you uh, get all of those um like i said version 15 of the rtx pack will be coming out this by the end of next week along with uh, the hd versions of that as well um I'll probably have a re-release of the Medieval pack um, just because there's some updates and things that will go with it. So uh, for those of you current subscribers or those that are interested in joining, um, the, the, the latest will be coming out at that point. But anyway, have a fabulous rest of your day and we'll see you again soon.